at stickywebdomains.com. And today I just want to make a quick video and show you guys how to use the uh, data highlighter tool within the Google Webmaster Tools account. Uh, what is data highlighting? Uh, data highlighting is uh, uh, basically uh, marking up your web page, um, also known as structured data, so that Google can have a, a better understanding of what your page is about. Um, it's kind of like I want to say a roadmap for Google. If you, for instance, list events or review ratings, this structured data is great to tell Google because Google will show those event listings right in the search result uh, snippets. Uh, it can also show when and where those events will be right there in the search results. So by um, marking up your web page with structured data, you're basically just uh, letting Google get to know your website a little bit better. Uh, to use this tool, you have to have an account uh, with Google Webmaster Tools. Just go to, go to google.com slash webmaster tools and create an account. Um, there's a lot of great information uh, this account will give you about your website. Uh, HTML improvements if you need to make any. Uh, search queries that people find. Um, use to find your website um, you can submit site maps right here to to this site for Google so this is uh, some a great account to have at, if you're a webmaster so you want to have one is basically just a no-brainer um, if you want to rank uh, or be indexed with uh, Google in the search results so let's get started click on start highlighting and now we're just going to type the web page that I want to highlight okay here is the category this is a blog so it's going to be articles if you're doing book reviews and events there's a category for that if that's what your web page is about so I'm going to click articles and I just want to tag just this page now if you check the radio button that says tag this page and others like it um, Google uh, data highlighter will basically automatically start tagging all your other pages based on the way you tagged your first page. So that's uh, pretty cool that it will do that automatically for you. Okay, so now you just click OK. We're going to wait for that to come up. OK, here we go. It's loading that page. All right, so now that that page is up, all we're going to do from here is start to tell Google um, what all this means. So here's the title of this article. So all you do is highlight it. Okay. Now just click title. And as you can see over to the right, here it is. It's right there for you. All right, here's a category that this article's under, web hosting. So then we mark that as category. Again, over to the right, you see that pop up. Okay. Here's the date it was published. So here you just go to date published. Click that, and there you go again. All right, so here's my header image for my blog. I can even highlight that. Alright. And click image. And even that will show up as being uh, so that Google recognizes this image as being linked to this blog that uh, that I am marking up. 
Okay, so if I go down, let's go author. You can put that in there. All right, see that to the right? And it's basically that simple. If there's any ratings or votes or anything, you can add that as well. And that's it. Here's another article. Uh, hit title. So you see that pop up. And as you can see, it basically marked up the whole rest of this page based on those first couple entries that I made. As you can see, it did it automatically. And if you go to the top, it says, you know, my data items 10. So it marked up uh, 10. 10 articles for me. Once you're done, you just click publish. So now that has been published and it may take uh, 24 to 48 hours perhaps for Google to uh, index this, this markup. And then you can go to your structured data here and you will know it was marked up because it shows on here 54 items for example on six pages uh, status you'll see the date um, you go down here you will get this information if there's errors you'll see that I, I've got four I gotta I gotta check that out a little later see what that's about um, you can also go to the other resources tag here Okay, here's a structured data uh, data testing tool. So we can test to make sure, here it is, here's the page, the link that I just marked up. You can test to make sure that uh, that structured data is being shown or that Google does have that structured data. Okay, let's see here. Preview. Okay, here we go. All right, it pops up here. This is basically how the how Google sees your site. Extracted structured data. Here's one of my blogs exactly what is online auction that's the title and author so you can basically just test to make sure that that structured data is being came across accurately with Google and that they do exact uh, they do have that data index okay and again that is a structured data testing tool that you would use for that and that's it. Um, once you've done that, then you've just added structured data to your web page. Thanks for, for watching. I hope to see you guys in some more, come view more of my videos and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel so that you can get more insight on basically everything online from money making to just how to videos. Uh, this is Hameen Phillips with stickerwebdomains.com and I hope to see you again.